Hello, internet friends and family. It's me, Prepper Russ, and I wanted to make a quick video on making your own oat milk. Why would you want to make your own oat milk? Because in a survival situation, getting your hands on real milk is going to be really hard, unless you got a cow or a goat in your backyard, which I don't. But the cool thing about making oat milk is most preppers have tons of oats in their pantry because long shelf life, high nutritional value, and it also makes good fillers for food as well. But the neat thing about oat milk is it's the perfect substitute for milk in both sweet and savory dishes. Here's how I make mine. It all starts with a blender. And if you're in a power outage situation, you can always use your uh, gas Jenny, or you could also use a power inverter with your car battery. I like using spring water because it doesn't have fluoride in it and it's a high alkaline, which is healthy. So you're gonna want four cups of water, pour it into your blender. And then I always like to add a little bit of uh, salt because it helps it make tastes like even, like cow's milk even a little more. So just a little sprinkle of that in there. Okay, you have to use rolled oats because these work. Steel cut oats don't because they're too hard and it's hard to get them to extract their milk. So just one cup of rolled oats is all you're going to need to make you a nice you know, four cup portion of oat milk. Get it in there. And then I blend it for about 30 seconds or 40 seconds. And then if you got a pulse blender, you're going to want to pulse it because it helps chop it up. Get yourself a fine mesh strainer, pour it back into the pitcher, as you see demonstrated here. Now, you could just let it sit there and all drain out, but I like to speed up the process and grab a spoon and just kind of squish it down and it's going to get extract more of that. So once you're done with that, I would save all that oats for like soap or something. Go ahead and pour your, you know, milk into your long-term storage container. Some people like sugar in it. I don't, but you can also make yourself some chocolate milk with it too. It tastes amazing. Really it is. And then go ahead, get the lid on and then shake it up. And I have to tell you, you have to do this every time you use it. Got oats and you always got milk. Hey, I wanted to mention one thing. I just started my own t-shirt shop at bigfootshirts.com. And you should go check it out sometime. I have over 13 of my own designs. I run the shop. And that's all I sell are Bigfoot shirts. Thanks for watching. I'm Prepper Russ. I guess.